Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another PS Vita video. Now in today's video I am going to be focusing on the update 3.30 which dropped on Thursday, October the 2nd. Now as are to be expected with all updates, there are a variety of different features that have been updated, added and changed and all that good stuff like that. However, the thing that I want to focus on in this video are themes and backgrounds. I will touch on the additions at the end of the video, but primarily this is about themes and backgrounds. Now themes and backgrounds were announced for PS Vita a little while ago, but they have finally dropped. What you can now do is if we go over to the PlayStation Store and we jump in, you can then find two themes currently. There will be additional themes introduced over the coming weeks and over the coming months, and some of these will match up with game IPs. So right now you've got two sort of generic themes, but you will later on get game specific ones, which will be really, really cool. So for the time being, once you jump into the store, the easiest way to find these is actually just to go and search because the PlayStation Store on the PS Vita is a little bit of a pain to navigate sometimes, so to be honest, the easiest way is just to jump up in the corner, hit that search, and type in theme. If I can spell theme correctly, there we go. And then as soon as you search for it, it should then show up the two at the top. Stitching theme and crystal theme. Ignore the rest of them, they're just kind of add-ons for different games. So if you then click on them, these two are absolutely free. You can then download them, which we'll do now, and then as soon as that's done, we will then jump over and apply them. So as soon as your themes have then finished installing, what you then want to do is jump over to the settings page, open that up, then scroll down to theme and background, click on that, then go over to theme and background, and then click on theme at the very top. You'll see from here you can then select three different themes. The default one is already selected, we then have stitching, which will then show you what the start screen will look like and also what your main screen will look like. So let's select that for the first one. Then if we jump over back to the home page and get rid of that, there we go. You can see that not only is the background sort of like, you know, stitching patchwork kind of thing. But also if you look at the icons, you will see they are ever so slightly different. Look at the music one, for example. It's got this sort of like wooden effect to it. Or the photos one isn't quite as refined. You know, it's these sort of like slightly bent shapes. So it does not only change your background, but it also changes the appearance of some of your icons or all of your icons. There are also some changes to the sound effects in the background as well. And obviously if we then lock the console and go back to the front screen, you can see that here also is a stitching wallpaper. So that is the stitching one. Let's jump back over to settings and go and apply the crystal one. Then again, if we go back and go home, get rid of that. And there you have it. Now I am a big fan of these ones. I do like the sort of the crystal look on the buttons or the, the icons. The background, the wallpapers are a little bit boring, but to be honest, you know, the thing to bear in mind is that once you've got a theme, you can obviously go and change your background. So if you prefer the icons from one, so the stitching ones, you can then go and find your own backgrounds. So for example, what might be really cool is to use the stitching theme with a little bit of planet wallpaper. That would be sort of like really kind of fitting or, you know, a crystal theme with, with some kind of sort of sonic -y thing. I don't know, you know, make it up whatever you want. But either way, these are your current themes for the time being. I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't change the icons more. I've never been a huge fan of these sort of big circly bubble icons on the PS Vita. I do wish they were a little bit smaller and not quite so round and more kind of a fan of square icons but anyway either way this update is now live so you can go over to the PSN store go and search for themes and you've got two free ones to download and as I said there will be more over the coming weeks and months and some of them will match up to game IPs so there are going to be some pretty cool ones here but do expect to pay for them in the future they are not all going to be free so that is the big update for 3.30 which dropped on Thursday October the 2nd the other updates or the other changes that have been made to the PS Vita system are if you go over to the trophy section and you launch this then if you head over and select the PSN option, get rid of that hint, you can actually then see how rare a trophy is. So if you select a title, for example, The Last of Us, then if you click on the expansion and you can see all the trophies down below, you can actually see that there are rarities here. For example, 0.6% of people have platinumed this game. 2.2% of people have got the look for the light achievement, or sorry, trophy, should I say, uh, which is to find all the Firefly pendants. But if you scroll down here to something like, say, simple that, say, I got over here, uh, just like completing the game on easy, that trophy is considered a 45.3% rarity. So that way you can kind of sort of look through your list and gauge, you know, how hard it's going to be or, you know, how kind of exclusive or important your trophy is actually going to be. So that is the addition to the trophy system. Then in addition to that, there have been some updates for the browser and the calendar. I'm not going to go into them for the time being, but they are your updates for 3.3. If you want to see the whole patch notes, I will drop them in the description box down below and you can read them to your heart's content. But for the time being, the thing to take home about this one are themes and backgrounds. Really cool, right now free, so go and pick them up and enjoy them. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support, it does really help me out. And obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below and let me know which of the two new themes is your favourite and which one you're currently using. And as always, thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.